In this tip of the week, we will look at how to import SCORM content as an assignment into My Classes Canvas. If you haven't created or used SCORM content before, you may be asking, what is SCORM? If you have created interactive content using a software outside of My Classes, such as iSpring, Camtasia, Articulate, or Captivate, you may have included a quiz or a scored activity that you want to feed into the gradebook in My Classes. These scores are fed into my classes as code that was built using a collection of e-learning standards and specifications that allow e-learning software and learning management systems to communicate with each other. This set of coding standards is known as SCORM, which stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. When you export SCORM content from an e-learning software, a zipped folder of files and information is packaged for uploading and recognition by the learning management system that delivers it. As you may already know, Canvas is the Learning Management System, or LMS, that supports my classes. Canvas supports SCORM 1.2 and SCORM 2004. So how do you get the SCORM packaged content into my classes? It's easier than you might think. From within your my classes course, go to Settings and click on the Navigation tab. Enable the SCORM tool and save your changes. Now click on SCORM from your course navigation menu. The SCORM page will show any previously uploaded SCORM packaged assignments and give you the option to upload new content. Click Upload to find and select the zipped SCORM file that you want to add. Click Open. The SCORM file will automatically upload. When it is done, you will be given an Import Type drop-down menu where you will have two options. To either import as a graded assignment or an ungraded assignment. Once you select your Import Type, click Go. The assignment will automatically generate on the Assignments page as an unpublished assignment. When it is done creating the assignment, a verification of the assignment type will appear along with three symbols. First, you can click on the assignment icon to go directly to the assignment in My Classes to edit assignment details if desired. Next, you can click on the eye icon to run a preview of what the assignment will look like from the student view. This example is an instructional video created in Camtasia where quiz questions have been inserted throughout the video to promote student engagement. Click Done when you are finished previewing the assignment. And finally, you can delete the assignment and start again. If you delete the assignment from the SCORM page, it will automatically be deleted from the Assignments page. You can see the Camtasia video assignment is no longer in the assignment group. I've re-uploaded this test assignment to look at it from the Assignments tab. As with any other assignment, you can go to the Assignments tab to access and edit the assignment details from there. But if you delete the assignment from this area, it will still show on the SCORM page. However, an error message will generate when you click on the assignment icon indicating that the assignment has been deleted. It is important to know that you generally set the assignment scoring and pass-fail standards in the e-learning software SCORM settings. So you will want to make sure that you have your e-learning software settings match any settings that you want reflected in the My Classes assignment. If you enter conflicting information in the assignment settings in My Classes, the scoring of the assignment may not function as expected. For example, in iSpring, if you go to Learning Course and customize your scoring details, you can set your iSpring progress and completion details to report to the LMS as complete, incomplete. Then in my classes, a score will not be generated based on a pass-fail percent value, even if you set the assignment details in my classes to percentage instead of complete, incomplete. It is always recommended that SCORM authored assignments be uploaded and tested before the assignment is published in the course. If you need help authoring, uploading, or testing SCORM content, please contact Instructional Design and Delivery for assistance. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following resources.